Hi, and welcome to Tuesday Night on Vintageress. I'm Joni, and I'm going to share part two of my haul with the woman who had lived in her home for over 80 years and had, had a really good assortment of interesting sewing and craft kind of stuff. And so I'm going to share that with you today. Um, and if you like this content, give me the good old thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Share it with your friends so that they uh, see what I, I get up to. So we'll go over the table and have a look at what I what I got in part two. And if you haven't seen part one, I'll make sure to put a link to it up at the top here, but also in the show notes or the description part of this video, you'll see the link there. So without further ado, shall we go over to my table and see some stuff close up? Let's go. Let's go see. Some of the stuff that I have not looked at to look at it with you. So we'll see what we, we have in this in this one. This looks like kind of more crafting stuff. We'll see. Boxes with bits and bobs. Random buttons. Oh, and a pencil. <laughs> okay, that's the end of the box. So let's look at this together. I also got a bit of housewares too, and I might show you that at the end then too. But okay, first little mystery thing, little some little snaps and a safety pin. Nothing exciting there. Let's see what's in this. So this is the bay, Hudson's Bay. It's Canadian. Oh, some interesting buttons. Some interesting buttons. Now that looks like Bakelite to me. That's cool. That's a really cool one. The cool ones in the lid. These have kind of had some, these would be shabby, but there's three of them. Let's see if there's another really, any cool ones here. These, are, this is kind of neat. Oh yeah. Oh, those are glass. Those are so cool. Look at those. Oh wow. Those are really deco. Those are really cool. Oh, love, love, love. You know me and my buttons. If you haven't seen my button video, check it out. Oh, wow. That's a cool one. That's a super cool one. What else is in here? Oh, oh, there's another one. Oh, is that glass? Yeah, it's glass, definitely. How can I tell? Because this one has a bit of a chip. It's very cool. Sorry. Very cool. Hmm. That's an older one too. It's kind of scratched, but that's cool. Hmm. Oh, there's another one. Another one of these. That's really neat. That's a cool one too. That looks bake lighter. Well, maybe I don't know the color. Maybe I'm, hmm. I'll have to test it and see. Some nice basic ones. Some basic ones. I like the color of these though, even though they're just basic. They're a nice teal. I don't know if you can see that, that it's they're kind of a greeny blue, like a Payne's gray. One of my favorite colors is Payne's Gray. Oh, look at that one. That's cool. Oh, love, love. Look at that with a shell inlay. Mm, well, that's a shell one. Really old shell one. Oh, here's another glass one. I think it's glass, yeah. Really cool glass one. Here's a few. Those look like butterscotch bakelite to me. 
Very nice. Mm -hmm. I think I've pulled out the really special ones. But I'll have to go through this box and see if there aren't any others. But I think I've pulled out the, the best of the best. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'll put that aside. All right. What else have we got here? We've got a <laughs> nail clipper. Hmm. Okay. And we've got a old spool of thread, but it's, is that wood or is it plastic? I think it's plastic. So I don't think that's too old. There's a few random buttons that probably fell out of that, that box. Okay. What the heck is that? I don't think that's, <laughs> I don't think it's sewing. What do you think? Don't think so. I think that's just random. There's another one of these drits, drits view through for doing scalloped edges and oh a little uh oh that's kind of cute actually so she's done some sewing where she's uh buttonholes where she's uh done sample ones that's fun i'll put that maybe with should i put that with the button holder or should i sell it so it separately that's kind of fun right i don't know we'll see uh, a roll of a cheapy kind of ribbon, but it's a fun, uh, really fun graphics on there. Be good for display. Now, what's in this box? For acid control and gastric hyperactivity and pe peptic ulcers. Oh my goodness. The physician's ant ants of jelly Hmm. Contains no laxative. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so in a laxative, or not laxative, but an antacid box, we have this. So what is it? Okay, so there's this little change purse. And it's got stuff in it. So let's see what's inside. Oh, there's a thimble inside. That's pretty much it. A nice little brass one, though. Is that it inside there? Yep. Yeah. That's a cute little brass. There's a lot of detail around that edge there. Can you see that? Great right around here. Hmm. It's a little brass thimble. It looks like there's some other thimbles here too. And the older thimbles. What's that? And just some a um, thing of buttons, kind of a mishmash of them, the different ones. <laughs> uh, there's another, that's an older one for sure. Here's another very old looking beat up, <laughs> very old looking beat up one. Well, that's an old, really old plastic one. Same with these. I'm thinking about like 30s maybe. Hmm. So I guess there's a few of these nice big buttons. Sounds good. Anything else of interest? Gold plated! No. <laughs> or, or 10 karat gold! <laughs> no. I don't think so. Uh, yeah. Oh, another another blue thimble. So it looks like some shell buttons and other little bits and bobs. I like the thimbles. Those are fun. Some people collect thimbles. So maybe that, I don't know if they would collect this kind, but we'll find out. So that's my, our, that was what was in this antacid box. <laughs> Okay, what else do we have here? Well, this looks like a bunch of vintage fabric, which is cool. Let's see. Oh, that's really kind of neat. That's like um, 
Oh, what do they call that? Bark cloth, right? I think. That's a good size little piece there. Like a, that would be a good, it's a square. If you can see that, but that's a square. So that would be good for like a pillow, front of a pillow, right? That's good. What else is in here? Oh, oh, there's some linens. Okay. Let's see. Oh, cute little um, handkerchief. It's a nice little linen one. A little sweet embroidery on it. And then there's this one that's kind of seen better days. And what initial is that? Oh, I guess that's a D, right? Lowercase D. And then two pot holders. Unfortunately, they've bled a bit. The color has bled a bit, but two pot holders. Uh, what's this? Looks like a little small. Um, Oh, it's a pillowcase. It's a pillowcase. Embroidery on it. So these will have to get washed. And we'll sort of see how the stains are and stuff. If, if not, I'll have to use them as the cutters for the uh, kits that I'm doing. Oh, this one's very aged. And some people might really like that. Um, right for the... Uh, slow stitch and um yeah so this is like a little it's like a little tablecloth or you know, a runner maybe or maybe it's a dresser scarf like a, a runner again that'll need to be washed what's this it's like a pattern Oh, I guess it's a pattern to embroider the edge of a tablecloth, right? I think that's what that is. Mm-hmm. It's like a scalloped edge. The stain. Mm. <laughs> it's like a map, and you fold it back the way it was. Let's see. Pretty close, pretty close. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, it's a sweet little dress. Look at this. It's a sweet little dress. Is it a nighty? Oh, I think it's a nighty. Oh, it's a very sweet little short nighty. See if there's a tag in it. It's a small, made in Canada, very sweet little cotton, cotton night, nighty. Oh, that's very adorable. Mm-hmm. Very sweet. Look at the lace on the edge of that. Oh, it's so sweet. And the little bordered flowers. Very cute. Okay. Very kind of odd thing to find in this box, but <laughs> then this box has been a bit weird. Once you didn't see part one, you have to go back and watch and see the glue rock or the sparkle rock. <laughs> You'll see what I mean when you watch it. Stitch Witchery, the magic fusible web that joins fabrics permanently. I don't know if there's any in here. Is it just the bag? I think it seems to be just the bag. Sticking to this, which looks to be bits of felt, bits of old felt. Okay. Put these aside. Now, what have we got in here? Oh, oh, those are cool. They're like plastic doilies. Looks like the. Oh, it says shiny bright. Look at that. Christmas decoration. That's cool, but it's not. I don't think this is shiny bright, is it? They're like plastic. Those pla oh, really cool, kitschy plastic doilies. Hmm. Hmm. 
That's fun. But I don't think that shiny bright belongs there, but it's a cool bit of ephemera. So we got a bit of, sorry, keep, I'm going to watch where the camera is here. Maybe I'll just tip it down a little bit more, actually. That's a bit easier. Okay. Um, so Winton Vat Colors Threads, a very big spool of black thread. Um, some coats and a wooden spool, brand new white coats thread. Uh, there's another one, Atlas. Mm -hmm. Little thing we'll have to look at. Plastic one, so wooden and some wooden and some plastic. What's in the mystery? What are you What are you guessing? You can put a guess in the in the comments what you think this is, and then I'll open it. Okay, ready? One, two, three. What did you guess? I'm guessing needles. Am I right? Nope, pins. <laughs> pins. Gold. No, no gold in our in them their hills. Okay, what is in here? Oh, I like what I see. I love, 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 love cotton um, trim, embroidered like lace. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Love that. Well, it's cut up in pieces, but that's okay. I'll use it in my my uh, fabric art packages. I've got some up on Etsy. You can go and check them out. Um, and that one is kind of very 60s, seem, it seems like. That's fun, too. Let's see what's in here. That seems like a big, big chunk of another crocheted kind of cotton one. That's cool. And then some seam binding and some satin white ribbon. Okay. All right. What is next? Let's tackle this big bag. What's in this big bag? I think it looks like embroidery stuff. Now, oh, what's this? Oh, those um, plastic, um, uh, what do they call them? Like, like, it's a type of needle point, isn't it? On these plastic um, grids. Yeah. Okay. And what's in here? I like some. I like the graphics I'm seeing. Okay. Make an apron in minutes. A quality apron clip. Slip plastic through the top hem. Clip apron around your waist. Remove clip for washing and ironing. Irons flat. Oh my gosh. So I guess, why would you do that? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Wait a minute. It shows the instructions. Cut one piece of half yard square, rounded corners. Cut remaining fabric to four inch strips. Sew strips ends together. Okay. I want to see this in action. This is hilarious. So it's I guess you make like you make this part right and then it clips around your waist uh, okay okay oh we got more we got more we got more oh my gosh that is too funny i've never seen anything like this apron clip okay apron clip oh there's more <laughs> okay so that's that what else is in here oh this is a nice like linen very basic but i love the edge on it look at that fine work on the edge that's nice okay oh it's in french votre santé what is this from ephemera here's health salads are healthful economical and nutritious with these beautiful salad bowls, you'll want to serve your family more delicious tasting, tempting salads. And then it's got all the craft mayonnaise products. So it must have been wooden bowls. It must have gone with wooden bowls. How fun is that? 
And then the French on the back. That is fun. I love the ephemera on this. <laughs> and then there it is in French. Let's see the English. Save two wonder aprons. Oh, here we go again with this clip-on apron. Oh, funny. Wonder aprons make fine gifts for birthdays and anniversaries. <laughs> Fun, right? Oh, great ephemera. Okay, what's in here? So this is a piece of, looks like lining fabric. Something good, we want something good. Oh, what's this? It looks like some, oh, 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 it's an apron. <laughs> it's an apron. It's an apron, but it's not a clip-on apron. It's a it's a homemade apron. Now, she was a tiny thing, wasn't she? Like, look at that. That must be, gosh, she must have been a small, petite little, little thing. Okay, what else is in here? Oh, there's another of these, oh, two of these linen handkerchiefs. Oh, uh, this feels like um, oil cloth, right? So it's a remnant. Three, 36 and 3 eighths of a yard. This is not 36 yards, so that's a bit weird. I guess it's inches. Huh. That's interesting. Okay. And then, let's see some blue. What's the blue? Well, it's like a broadcloth a broad cloth and then we got another I think this is another apron <laughs> oh and what's this it's a it's a oh it's an envelope I'm actually not going to show you the address but that is so cool so I guess she did a mail order look at that one does it say at the bottom there it says kitchen apron yellow blue yellow blue hmm so this was the Wonder Apron. So I wonder, would that be yellow? That's not yellow, though. Interesting. I don't know. Well, maybe this. Is that yellow blue? I wonder if she ordered it. Isn't that fun? Wow. That's cool, right? All right, everybody. Well, thank you for tuning in to part two of my little diggeroo. My lot that I bought from this 80-year-old woman who um, had... And lived in our house for 80 or more years and so a lot of this stuff was really quite old and really cool so thanks so much for joining me and we'll see you another tuesday you know i love ya Mwah. thanks for joining me don't forget to give me the thumbs up and definitely subscribe and tell all your friends share this with other sewing enthusiasts Thanks so much. Bye now. So if you stayed to the end, here's a little bonus for you. They had a free pile. So I picked this out of the free pile and it's cool. Like it's got a flower frog on the top and it says made in England on the bottom. Stamped. It's hard to read, but it definitely needs to be cleaned up. But that looks like Clarice Cliff to me. I don't know. We'll have to do some research, but cool right so here it is cleaned up it it did it cleaned up fairly well um just an interesting interesting piece very faintly stamp, stamped made in england it's the inside yeah so i still need to do some research on it um i also got some teacups they weren't free but they also uh uh, there's another lot that I got, so I'll add that in now. And here is the household stuff that I got from the auction, again, of this woman who lived in her house for more than 80 years. And uh, so it was an estate sale and really kind of cool. So let's have a look at what I got. So this is a um, teacup, uh, coal cup. Cole Clo? I don't know. I'll have to find out the correct pronunciation of that. Hmm. It's got a little bit of a rub there. 
It's a very pale, pale pink. Very pretty. This is saucers. Yep. Let's see. That's a pretty one. Very deco looking. Uh, Foley China. Orange Blossom is the, the pattern. Orange Blossom. Oh, there's the saucer for the pale pink teacup. There. And there's this one. And, oh, this one's interesting with the parrots. Is that... Oh, that looks old, hey? That looks like an old uh, Atlas Bone China England. This is just dust on here. A little bit of a wipe. Got a bit of rub there. That's just dust. Hmm. Let's see. What is in here? Oh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so it's had a repair. There's a repair there. The orange blossom. But what a cool Art Deco handle on that. Wow. Very cool. What was that? Oh, look at the parrot on that. On the handle. Very Art Deco. Very, very Art Deco. So this says England Crafton Grafton China. That's really cool. That's probably pretty rare. And now does that go to get no different different uh <laughs> different company, but so kind of a marriage more than a than a set than that. Oh, look at that. Look at, oh, so here's the, here's the one that goes with the Atlas. Now, is there any damage there? No. Very cool. Very, very cool. Look at that rosebud handle. That's neat. I'm going to have to research that. That's a really cool set. Let's see what this last one is, but I'm guessing it's the one to go with. Yep. I wanted to go with the remaining sauce. They're very pretty. Uh, this one is Royal Albert. Very pretty. I've been listing more teacups lately too, so do check out my Etsy store. The link will be below um, for you to check that out. Very cool. Oh, that's nice. All right, well, thank you very much for joining me for this little quickie. But I just wanted to finish up the uh, the haul from this estate auction. Thanks so much for joining me. Mwah. Have a great night. You know I love you. Bye now.